the story that that you're you're about to hear every once in a while there's a good story that you just want to hear more of and i I wanted the details this this uh, a bride is here in rockford has her wedding and she's a very special bouquet and attached to this bouquet is her father's wedding ring who's he's been he's been dead for quite a while and somehow it, it got thrown in the garbage and then a call is made to Rock River Disposal, who handles their garbage collection, this wedding venue. And that's where the person that I, I saw share the story, Julie, who works at Rock River Disposal, gets a phone call. And I want her to sort of take us from there because this story, like I said, has, has, has few heroes and a happy ending. And Julie is the first hero you meet in this story. So take us uh, from, from the, the moment you got the phone call, Julie. Well, I got the call probably around 3 o'clock, and it was from the manager of the wedding venue. Okay. And the owners know me personally, and they're like, call Julie. If anyone can do anything, she can do it. Right away, she calls, tells me the story, and I'm just, I start to panic. Like, oh, my God, we got to find this ring. But I know that that container is dumped early. You know, the drivers normally go to the landfill twice a day. I'm thinking, if it's in the landfill, we're done. So I started with her on conference call with the um, head of the landfill. And he's like, Julie, there's just no way. And I go, can we look for it? And he's like, it's probably 40 feet under right now. So there's, there's no way. And then he hung up, and I stayed on with her. And I said, you know what? Let's, let me just call the driver. I called the driver, and luckily he answered. Usually they're driving, but he answered. He was crabby. And I said, hey, Steve, <laughs> did you dump this place? yet or what time was it and he goes i've already talked to rocco and noah about this and that would be our ops manager and our route supervisor and he said well, i've been broke down for three hours and i said broke down and i said have you dumped your load yet at all and he goes no oh no You're i go kidding. Steve, i go and he goes i'm headed to the landfill now and i said absolutely not and i said you hold tight and yeah. you know, they don't listen to me because i'm not their boss so <laughs> I hurried and called the landfill guy back, Lacey, and I said, Lacey, the, that load is in that truck. I said, can we dump it somewhere, go through it? But, you know, by this time, it's almost, it's after four. Okay, well, wait a second now. When you say just, like, can we go dump it somewhere, I mean, <laughs> what does like, that mean? Go on some pavement and just dump it on the pavement and then dig through it. That's what I want. That was my plan. <laughs> And he's like, I can't do it tonight. It's too late. See if you can get the truck to, you know, stay in the yard overnight, full of trash. Guard the garbage. It's very important garbage. <laughs> very important. <laughs> I, I take my job very seriously. I sell garbage disposal for a living, Steve. <laughs> so supervisor Ro Noah calls me. And he goes, what are you doing? He goes, they found that ring. I go, what do you mean they found it? He goes, one of the girls took the bouquet. They have it. I go, no, they don't. And I go, how do you know? He goes, because it's, you're not going to believe this, it's Rocco's sister. Rocco's one of our longest employees. He's been in the garbage business since the 70s. And this is his sister whose daughter, you know, his niece, who needs that ring back. So now it's even more important to me. Not that it already wasn't. And so I call Rocco. I go, you get Steve in that yard. I'm like bossing him around like I'm their boss. I go, you get Steve in that yard. We'll go in the morning. The girl from the wedding venue is going to meet us out there. And Rocco goes, okay, okay, you know, he's a super emotional guy. So anyway, we, we stopped the truck, and then we go out like 6 in the morning. Yesterday yeah. morning. Yesterday. You know, I've got my gloves and my boots and all this, and the truck just starts letting out the trash. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but there's liquid that comes out of there. It's disgusting. So Rocco's like, well, they're going to come and kind of spread it out for us. I go, well, let's start, you know. So right away, I see a champagne bottle. I go, hey, Rocco, look, there's a champagne bottle. No party. There's a party. So he grabs a bag, opens it, and it's champagne bottles, beer bottles, food. And I go, is this the, is this the food you guys had? He's like, I don't know. It looks like a party bag. <laughs> and then I grab a bag, and I strip it open. And I go, is this it? And he goes, that looks like a baby shower. And then I see a bag with the um, floral sticks, like stems, poking uh -huh. through it. And I, I grabbed it, and I go, Rocco. And he goes, oh, my God. And I ripped it open, and all these bouquets fall on the ground. And he, we are frantically just, there's like 10 of them, I feel like. Mm. And he goes, it's the big bouquet. It's the bride bouquet. He's all emotional. And I pull up this big one, and there the ring was hanging on a string. He grabbed it out of my hands. I'm going to mm. cry. Mm. Grabbed it out of my hands and hugged me. And he's like, 
Julie, you know this is my brother-in-law's ring that was killed in the garbage truck accident. So oh. his brother had a tragic accident way back in the 90s because he was a trash guy. Here in Rockford? Yes. Oh. So it's ironic that that ring ended up there, and I swear he broke that truck down so that we could get it back. Mm. Julie, thank you so much for sharing this story with us. People need happiness right now, and this is a happy, happy story. For sure. 97 ZOK.